All right, so we'll go back to the um, presentation now, the second part, and where I'm going to be looking at tests for binary or categorical data and also looking at correlation and regression. So have any of you already come across something called the chi-squared test? This is another very well-known test. I'm, I, I'm not quite sure whether there was somebody called Kai or where this name comes from, but it's known as the chi-squared test, and sometimes there's an odd Greek symbol, which is a chi, which is uh, used to denote the test. And so this is a test for comparing if you've got binary or categorical data, so you've got an outcome and something either happens or it doesn't happen or things fall into three or more categories, you can use something called a chi-squared test. And the chi-squared test <coughs> used to compare frequencies that say you've got an outcome, this is binary, three treatments and they either cure a set of cure a certain number of animals or they don't and we want to know if the cure rate's different between the three treatments. As I'll explain in a minute, a chi-squared test is most suitable for larger data sets, however it's often used even though it's not always the, the most appropriate test. But there is an alternative that's known as something called the Fisher's exact test and that's definitely named after a statistician called Fisher. And this works with the exact frequencies in each of these different cells. So you're never going to have to worry whether your data set's large enough to make the assumptions needed to do the test. Both tests can be either used to compare two groups with categorical or binary data, or also the equality of three different groups. But just as we saw for a hypothesis testing for continuous data, the null hypothesis is still going to be that there's no difference between the groups and the chi-squared test, or the Fisher's exact test, is going to seek to disprove that. 